So what is up guys, this is Draken here, welcome back to another video on Tammy here on Ark Survival Evolved Mobile. So, yeah guys, this video we are going to be taming up like Leopardon, like Leopardon also sometimes, some people call them like Leopardons as well, um, I'm not sure exactly what to call them but I think Leopardon might also be correct. So, now to tame these guys, they only eat the giant bee honey in order to tame up, uh, so, what I'm going to do is remove these three and hotbar these three. Now the life leopardons are actually um, they're said to be mythical creatures. Um, well, they are kind of mythical creatures and uh, they are not too difficult to tame up, specifically low levels. And right now I found a low level, but I'll have to work with it because and it doesn't matter honestly with the with these guys because you only get to keep them for 30 minutes. So the, there is a tame uh, timer. And at the end of this video, uh, after we tame this guy up, and you'll see him around for a little bit, uh, I'll just send, uh, show you guys a recording of the final uh, 30 seconds or so of this guy, so that we know exactly what happens when this guy just uh, decides to fly off to Candy Mountain. So let's just transport those items and get down. Okay. One thing that you have to remember is that you should not let, um, yes, you should not uh, keep any of your tames right, I mean like, uh, very next to it. Um, if you want, you can just do this by yourself because the le le Leopardon will attack your tames but won't attack you. So, as soon as it sees one of your tames, it will start attacking. So, I am going to keep my tame nearby, this user, nearby and... Uh, well, I'll show you guys the tame method that way. So, one thing you have to remember is do not attack this guy, specifically low level ones like this. Uh, because when they get damaged, they will... Then also they will just fly you off to Candy Mountain. Uh, I don't know why... Uh, yeah. Candy Mountain is what I like to call it. It just uh, disappears in a whirlpool as I've heard. Though I've never seen it because I've never tamed one of these guys before. And also guys, remember the Electro Forests are really good ways for you to level up. They give so much XP. So, uh, it's kind of bugged right now. Well, that will make it a hell lot easier for me. Now, these guys are passive tames. Uh, they will only eat giant bee honey, and um, the giant bee honey can be obtained from the beehives, which you have to craft in the smithy and place. It will require 100 sap. Yeah, 3 sap. And for that you'll need three sap taps. Uh, if you have got them from the gifts, it's that's also fine. But otherwise, you'll need some uh, of those three sap taps in order to and attach them to the redwood for us and get the sap out of them. Just getting rid of all those creatures that will aggro onto me because it is uh, bothersome to deal with those guys when taming a creature. So this guy's right here. The mystical, magical library Leopardon. I just keep calling it the wrong name. I'm not familiar with the other name. So what I'm going to do is put in this guy on passive, crack on on passive, and uh, hot bar, uh, some of the giant bee honey. I'll just do it with one at the moment because this guy is kind of bugged out trying to eat this uh, dead manta. So like that. And uh, well, okay, so not close enough. There we go. Okay, so 45%. Will it be just another feed and this guy is tamed up or something? Well, you can do this without uh, now. The, uh, almost forgot these guys have ascension limits, so uh, they won't follow you up to a certain amount, only a certain height limit they will follow you and try to attack you if you are on your team, that is. So what I'm going to do is, now the cost is clear, there are no other creatures that can bother the taming effectiveness, taming of this guy, so what I'm going to do right now is to just uh, keep my Tuser like this, so then the Leopardon will not wander away. Now these guys do wander away, they give you no attention at all. And I saw an angle at the bottom, so I'm just going to reposition myself and yeah, just stay right here. Oh, you guys are coming, aren't you? Nasty critters. 
uh, escape or calm these guys enough so that they won't bother me. Alright. Oof, these guys got a lot of health. Oh, and yeah, this will work, right? Now that once we start taming, taming any creature, that uh, afterwards if, if you attack them, the attacks doesn't hit the tame, taming the creature that is in the process of being tamed up, right? So there. Okay. That's working fine enough for me. So, now as with all passive tames, the first feed takes a long time and we'll just have to wait it out a little bit then. So let's just get this guy tamed up, right? Alright, so that was the final feed. Okay, so it's a level 22, quite low. Uh, just keeping one of your tames nearby just helps as a protection. And also will uh, stop this guy from wandering away. And also, yeah, it does not affect the taming effectiveness or anything of this guy. Oof, look at your face. Wow, that's actually a terrifying looking face. To be honest with you guys. Uh, 1000 weight is a really good capacity and I am feeling lucky as it says in the right hand corner well uh, the Leoprenon is not actually very useful for the single player and generally for Arc Mobile I would say because uh, yeah the, the Leoprenon was actually introduced as like uh, uh, this feeling lucky thing is it works as in uh, you are getting like a uh, higher chance of getting good loot out of the loot crates at the bottom of the ocean now unfortunately loot crates are not available uh, in mobile so we just have to bear with it considering that so these guys only for 30 minutes so it's actually not very useful just uh, spending uh, a soothing lotion on this guy which is why I did not do it now even though we are not getting um, load crates in this arc mobile but we had what we do get is the fact that uh, this creature the leoprodon does give a like an experience boost not much a small amount not two percent not two point or, or something two times xp or something but it does give a small amount of experience so it actually helps a lot even though it's not much it helps a lot because this is the ocean creature and as with all ocean creatures, um, you can get the highest amount of experience by killing other creatures in the ocean. Now, every creature in the area does act on to this guy, uh, this guy and the Tusa as well. Unfortunately for that, so this uh, Leopardon will actually just help me to get a large amount of experience. Other than that, it's basically useless, guys. So that's how the Le Leopardon can be tamed up after the 30 minutes uh, of this guy is finished this guy will just uh, disappear in a whirlpool yes so that's how you would tame up a leopardon they will only accept giant bee honey and after taming also they will only accept giant bee honey so while you have this guy while there is the 30 seconds for you the best thing you can do is just to go around on whatever creature you wish to just level up and just go on a killing spree once you get a set, get away from this the Leopardon for a certain distance, the buff will fade away. Now the buff affects both you and your tame. So you will also get level uh, easy. You will also find it easy to level up uh, in addition to your tame as well. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this opportunity and level up this guy. Now as soon as you go a certain distance, the feeling lucky thing will just uh, shift to a five minute timer. So after 5 minutes of uh, feeling lucky thing will go away and uh, you will be back to normal experience again but when this guy comes close to you the feeling luckiness thing will be there again it will the timer will refresh it kind of looks cool with the glowy effect and all but it's kind of sad that this guy is not a permanent thing so guys that will be it about the leopard on then 
that's how to tame them up and also the uses of them uh, the only use is that they are giving experience boost in mobile in PC you will get uh, better quality loot out of those loot crates whatever they are so guys that's how to tame them uh, so just keep on watching and I'll just show you guys the how this guy disappears then and it's only 15 seconds left now uh, this guy didn't gain any levels or experience because he's a temporary tame and uh, so guys that's how you tame up the Leopardon and this is what happens when the time is out wishing you the best of luck in finding a Leopardon and taming it up and going on a leveling spree wow that looks quite nice and after this guy vanished also the feeling lucky thing will be there until uh, 5 minutes is over so guys this is Draken here over and out so if you find this video to be helpful ring that notification bell and smash that thumbs up and subscribe as well and never miss a video so bye guys until next time